Noah here from American Muscle. If you drive a 99 to 2004 Mustang, then you've got to check out these LED bar factory style headlights with chrome housings and smoked lenses. Now, these are going to be one of the cheapest ways to get that dark look and some style points for your Mustang. So we have the super popular dark design that you're seeing everywhere on cars today with headlights. Now these guys have chrome housings, which is gonna provide a nice reflective base that complements the smoked lens. And that means these headlights are still going to be dark with the smoked lens, but still will reflect nicely from the car with a chrome housing. And then in stark contrast, you can see that daytime running light is super bright white against the smoke lens, and that's gonna run around the sides and the bottom of the housing. As far as construction goes, we're looking at weather sealed polypropylene all around with some high-end LEDs in that daytime running light. Now with that LED, we're looking at 1200 lumens in a runtime of about 50,000 hours. You also get a one year warranty with these guys, and that's gonna protect you from any manufacturing defects. And then on top of that, these do use the factory halogen bulbs, but if you're looking for even more lighting performance, then I'd encourage you to grab a set of LED bulbs for these guys right off our site as well. They're gonna drop right in. It's super easy to change bulbs when the headlights are out. So now would be the time to do it. Coming in around 250 bucks, these headlights are hands down one of the cheapest sets of LED headlights for your Mustang out there. The price is low, mostly because it doesn't have LED bulbs inside and they're designed to use that factory bulb setup. Again, less features sometimes can be really nice when it comes to pricing. Installing these headlights is gonna be a pretty simple installation for just about anybody. We're looking at a difficulty of one out of three wrenches because these guys are plug and play. And since it's such a simple install, you should be able to get it done in about an hour. So really nothing too major at all. But at this point, I'm gonna hand you over to one of our AM customers and they're gonna walk you through everything you need to know step by step. Okay, so these are the tools you're gonna to need. You're gonna need your quick, quick splices that come with the kit. They look like this. You'll need either a test light or a multimeter. And then you just need a pair of pliers and then the instructions that come with it. So step one, pop your hood and open it. So next, you're gonna wanna look at these two tabs right here. These are what hold the headlights in. You just wanna pull up on those and they come right out. All right, so for the third step, after you remove the clips, you just give it a nice yank and out come the lights. And then from here, you would just twist the back of the, the LED lights or whatever lights you got. And then there's a clip right here that usually just has a clip on it, but these ones are broken, so you just pull it right out. There you go, the light's out. Next, you're gonna wanna Take your light out of your box like this for the first one. So it'll come with a quick connector like this. And then your light, so you don't really need this connected right now. So just disconnect that until the wiring's all done. Just like that. Okay, so now you're gonna start on the wiring of the headlights. So this middle wire, this middle wire already has a connector on it. So the middle wire is the constant 12 volt this wire right here is the ground is the ground this wire is the ground sorry and then this wire is the blinker the flasher wire so what you're going to want to do is you're going to need to cut this back you're going to need to cut your wire loom back so it's just got a little bit out like this so one of these connectors has a hole that goes all the way through and a hole on the other end that has a little stop in it. The stop, the one that goes all the way through is just gonna pop on your light. It's gonna pop on one of these wires. There we go, just like that. Just like that, so you got, you just got that wire going through that hole and you got the open leads open. So with your connectors on there and not clamped down, because you don't want to, that splits the wire when you crush that. So 
if you want to get your multimeter or test light, whatever you got, and flip it to 250 so it's like a volt test. You want to take your black test prong and you want to put it in the ground or touch it to any clean surface. And you want to go in the car and flick your lights on and then roll the key forward and put the blinker on on this side. So if you look on the multimeter, if you look on the multimeter, the middle one, the middle one's constant power. It's 11, but it's, it's 12, but it's constant. You look over here and it's always changing. That's your blinker that's on. So you already know that that middle one's constant and then you come over here and that's ground. It showed the negative right there. So that means that's ground. So that way you know you got your two, two wires you need right here. So now that you got those, you know your wiring's right, you gotta finish the wiring for the headlights. So these are the little, I don't know, LED things, the LED harness. So there's two wires coming off of that. The gray one's the positive and the black is the negative. So you're going to take your middle wire and you want to put it in there. And then you want to take your pliers and you're just going to want to squeeze them down until you feel them, until you feel it go through. And then you'll notice that the wire won't come out anymore. So you just give it another little squeeze, not too tight, and then you flip this over. And it should snap closed like that so it keeps that in there. Then you take your negative, make sure those are twisted and clean. And you bring it over here. Put it in there just like that. Put it in there just like you put the other one. Just like that. And then you look inside, you can make sure that it's lined up and then you just squeeze it down. Make sure to make sure that this part on top, make sure it's flat. So you might have to squeeze it from both sides if it's hard, if it's a hard angle. Okay, so I got that in there. So now you just roll this over the top. There you go. You got your wiring done. So now you're taking you, your new headlight with the LED in there. You notice it has a plug on the back. So I like to keep the wrapping on there until the job's done, just so you don't scratch the lens or anything. So in order to make it see if your wiring's connect again, correct again, you take your little plug. You, oop, wrong way. You gently plug it in. You don't want to break the clip. You can let it set, sit right there. And you see that the LED light turned on. And yeah, that's how you know it's right because the blinker, the running light will be on over here. You don't want your headlights on at the same time. All right, so from here, you just pretty much plug everything in. You get your, you screw your headlight in and then don't plug in this yet. Move it around here. I routed the wires up through here I put the sticky side I put the sticky thing right here with the box <laughs> so the wires are coming protruding out this way so they'll meet right up when they go back in so you take your blinker out of the other light and you bring it right around here you want to flip it in they should just pop in if it wants to be a pain there we go and then you just turn it should lock just like that. All right, so at this point you want to peel this back a little bit. 
so you can still take it off. And then you take your plug and you plug it into the back right there. Make sure your wires are up out of the way. Then you take your, I have LEDs on this, so you wanna make sure all your wires are out of the way anyway. Put your boxes for the LEDs back up in there. And then you wanna take this, plug those in you want to make sure everything goes in through there nicely just gets tucked into that little corner then you want to make sure to pull it out from the bottom a little bit and then you get your clips There you go. Now you got one headlight installed. All right. So now you can peel off your plastic. All right. There you have it. That's what it's supposed to look like. Now do the other side, just how you did this one. And they should turn out just fine. Those were the LED bar factory style headlights, with chrome housings and smoked lenses for the 99 to 04 Mustang. For all things Mustang, remember to keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.